hey guys welcome to this grid layout tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to work with grid layout in android as you can see here i have made a demo application that has grid layout two columns and three rows each item within the grid layout has a card view an image view and on click listener so when i click this item a new activity starts displays the image and the name of that image so we are going to learn how to create this that is the grid layout that has a defined number of columns and loads with card view image view and on crack listener so let's get started this is a new project that i'm going to use during the development so the first thing that i'm going to do is to learn my project and see what we have So there we are with a blank project that has grid as the title and different color. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to change these colors. And I'm going to change the string to grid layout. And then colors, I'm going to change this one to 008577. Then I'm going to have 008577. And finally, I'm going to have 00. 57 4b i'm going to learn the application once again so as you can see now we have our title as grid layout and we have matching car so the next thing that i'm going to add is grid layout so within the grid layout I'm going to have width as zero. I'm going to have height as zero. And then I'm going to have start start of parent. And I'm going to have end end of parent. I'm going to have top top of parent. And bottom bottom of parent. Remember I'm doing this because I'm using constraint layout. If you are not aware or you'd like to learn more about constraint layout i'll leave the link in the description and you can uh, click the link and learn more about grid layout so now i'm going to define the number of uh, columns that i need so i need two columns i need number of laws i need three then i need to give it a margin and i'm going to give it a margin of 10 in my main uh, parent layout i'm going to give it a background color and i'm going to have f3 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 then within my grid layout i'm going to define a card view and i'm going to give it uh, the number of columns to occupy so i'm going to give it column with one I'm going to give it low width of one having given it column width and low width now I'm going to give it corner radius and I'm going to give it 15 I'm also going to give it uh, elevation card elevation and I'm going to give it zero I'm going to give it a margin 10 and the width and height I'm going to give it zero So the next thing that I'm going to do uh, is to define my relative layout here. And my relative layout, I'm going to match parent and I'm going to match parent within my relative layout. So guys, now that we have added our relative layout, the next thing that I'm going to add is my image view. And I'm going to give it a width of 100 height of 100 and then I'm going to give it alignment so I'm going to have center in parent true so I'm going to copy this one and paste it below 
so as you can see in the design we already have two columns with two cards so now we have two columns with three cards four cards five cards and now we have our six cards so the next thing that i'm going to do is this one i'll give it an id of procore so this one i'm going to have an id of onions then i'm going to change this one the id should be cucumber this one i'm going to give it an id and the id of this one should be after cucumber we have tomatoes potatoes so we have tomatoes we have potatoes and finally we have cabbages now uh, the next thing that i'm going to do is to copy my image in my drawable folder now that we have been able to add our images the next item we are going to do is to create uh, two activities the first one i'm going to create is for uh, broccoli and the other one that i'm going to create is for onions then i'm going to learn our application once again so that we can see our progress So there we are, we have a uh, card view, we have two columns and three rows. So we are going to add images here and I'm going to go to my main activity. And the first one uh, will be source blockery. This one source will be onion. This one source will be cucumber this one sauce will be tomatoes this one sauce will be potatoes and finally this one sauce will be cabbages we, we are going to learn this one again and see So there we are, we have two columns, three rows, we have card view and an image view. As you can see, we don't have one click listener, and it's what we are going to do next. So here we have broccoli activity and on only activity, which are going to launch when you click on the broccoli on, on the uh, onion activity. So the last guys, I'm going to leave them to you so that you can try adding on click. If you face any challenge, uh, comment. In, uh, and I'll be there to assist him. So let's begin. So that we can be able to access IDs, I'm going to add something here. And then I'm going to have Kotrin Android extensions. And then in my main activity, I'm going to have fun uh, on click listener. Then I'm going to have a CV broccoli dot set on click listener. And then one I'm going to have CV onions dot set on click listener. So what you are going to do is when you click broccoli, I'm going to start activity. I'm going to have intent. And the intent that I'm going to launch, I'm going to have okay, fun on click listener. And inside here, I'm going to have 
cv book query dot set on click resonal and inside it when you click i'm going to start activity i'm going to have intent and i'm moving from this activity and i'm going to procure activity class i want to pass to uh, items the first one i want to do is to put extra and the name i'm going to put is the uh, name and the value of the name is broccoli and the other item that i'm going to pass is uh, the image and the value of the image i'm going to have r dot drawable dot broccoli then i'm going to do the same uh for onion cv onions dot set on click listener and i'm going just to copy this one and paste it here and the only thing that i'm going to change is this and i'm going to have onions and here i'm passing images onions and i'm going to activity onions so i'm going to go to my broccoli activity it's here and i'll define image view i'll give it 150 and this one also i'm going to give it 150 i'm going to align it to the start of parent and to the end of parent and also to the top of parent and bottom of parent i'm going to give it an id and i'm going to call it image view down i'm going to have a text view here i'm going to lab content lab content i'm going to be uh, top and the top will be bottom of uh, my image view i'm going to align it center by giving it start start of parent and end end of parent i'm going to give it a top margin of 50 now let's give it uh, 10 and then i'm going to give it a size of 20. i'm going to give it an id of text view then i'm going to copy this one and paste it in my onion activity and now what i'm going to do here in my broccoli activity so we can learn this one first and see what we have so the application is launching there we are if we click uh, on broccoli uh, nothing happens if you click on onion nothing happens and onions nothing happens so let's see we didn't call this method let's add it here and learn again so now if we click uh, broccoli a new activity starts there is no image or uh, name that is displayed and it's what we are going to do next the same as when i click onions but when i click the rest nothing happens so guys uh, try to add on click listener to the other items and let me know in the comment section if you are able to do that so let's proceed and try to display uh, the image and the name of the item that was clicked i'm going to have val intent of type uh, intent and i'm going to say get uh, intent so i'm going to option enter and then i'm going to have my int all val image of type int and what i'm going to do is intent dot get int extra remember the name we give it is image and i'm going to have val name 
of type string and I'm going to have intent dot get string extra and I'm going to access it through name. So as you can see, let's see why this error is popping up. Okay, for for getting uh, the default intent, you need as get int extra. You need to pass the default. This one I give it zero. Let's see for the name. Okay, we need to add this one. Let's see to ensure it's not null. Okay, then I'm going to have, as you can see in activity broccoli, we have image view and text view. So I'm going to have uh, my image view from broccoli dot set image resource. And I'm going to have my image. And then I'm going to have text view. Let's see text view from broccoli dot set text. And I'm going to have name. So we're going to learn this again. So when we click uh, the broccoli, there we are broccoli in the name. So when you click on it, nothing because you have not added. So I'm just going to copy this one and paste it here. And then I'm going to have my image view from activity union dot set image resource. And I'm going to have image and then I'm going to have text view text view dot set text and I'm going to have name I'm going to learn again so if I click the onion we have the image and the onion so that's all guys uh, try adding for the rest of the items and let me know if you succeed in the comment session <coughs> uh, see you in the next tutorial and thank you for watching if you are new Consider subscribing for more tutorials.